Round one of the October snowstorm is over. Now it's time to reload. Well, let's check in with Kevin Lawrence and Jacob Morse to see what's in store for round two. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. We're going to break it down and get to the, some of the headlines first, Jacob, right? We've got 85 that's closed Watford City, both directions, all the way to North Dakota 200. There haven't been any additional closures for tonight. That was the only one from early this evening. But again, no travel advised in northwest North Dakota. But also, I remind people, too, northeast Montana is not faring well either. They just don't have county uh advisories much the same like we have in North Dakota. But let's talk about the big picture here as to what's going on. Big trough or dip in the jet stream across the western U.S. That leads to more energy and a strengthening storm system that will further develop as we go into tomorrow. So if you haven't seen snow today, many areas across southern North Dakota haven't gotten the brunt of the system yet. That's because up aloft, several thousand feet above our heads, with an increase in those jet stream winds, the steering winds aloft, that leads to a strengthening system for round number two. And the big upper level low, or the energy with this system, is still in the Pacific Northwest, Kevin. Yeah, that's exactly right. And what does that mean for us? Well, it means some interesting things as you tap into moisture for the Pacific, uh, more moisture from the Pacific than the Gulf. Uh, this is kind of a quasi Colorado low in the forming. A lot of that energy going to our south, but a short wave or basically meteorology talk, right? Uh, <laughs> going to be coming into the southwest here uh, from our southwest, and that simply means enhancements of snow. Right, that wave number one moving out now. Yeah. Here's that more robust wave number two. Yep. The area of low pressure redevelops in Colorado tomorrow, mm -hmm. and that's when it treks up to the north and east. Heavy snow throughout most of the day tomorrow across our entire region with that second round moving through, and we'll go a little bit more in detail yeah. here hour by hour. And that's just it right there, Jacob. It's that wave number one, round number one that already moved through, but it's still producing snow around Minot right now. Now, we've had a period of drizzle and maybe freezing drizzle around Bismarck Mandan. Next couple of hours, we're near freezing, not far from that, but Dickinson already below freezing. Look at this, 3 a.m. Central, 2 a.m. Mountain, already snowing, all snow in southwest North Dakota. But look what happens as that wave two really gets going. This is it. You can see it by the darker blue as we keep advancing it more areas getting more snow. We'll have some heavier snow bands embedded within this larger shield of snow as we go through the entire day on Thursday, leading to more hazardous travel. And that'll continue into even Thursday evening before wrapping up late Thursday night. I know it's too early, Jacob, but it's, it's fun for meteorologists, right? Something to talk about. Before Halloween. That's right. It's crazy. <laughs> Back to you guys.